Hello there, my name is Makhorst and I'd like to show you a new mod I made based on the shader curves feature. So basically, as you can see, we have some shader enabled here, I think it's called Solos Shaders. And uh, usually whenever you want to change like some settings, you will have to go to the shader packs and then carefully, like, I guess, change the, well, I guess, settings and then <laughs> let's say you want to change them and then you have to apply and it's takes time to recompile and that until you're satisfied. So with this uh, mod called Uniforms, which is a iris add-on, you can now basically in real time change them. It, whenever I drag it doesn't change automatically, but as you can see once I release it changes. <laughs> so I have <laughs> a macro on the mouse that allows you basically just spam click. This way you can actually like change different parameters. Uh, it doesn't support like all parameters. Some of them like on and off. It's one that are mostly based upon like some kind of a mode or if it's a toggle like on off, it's not gonna work in real time. It only works with dynamic parameters that are mostly numbers. So for example, another thing that it wouldn't be able to work, for example, I think I've seen here some kind of like spherical cylindrical. So these are also different modes, so it's not gonna work. But it, but this mod should work with majority of shaders. I haven't checked which shaders don't work. Uh, let's see, advanced options, depth of field, shadows. Shadows not, probably all uh, options related to shadow, shadows not gonna work either. Let's see. These guys don't work. Post effects. Some 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 features are not working. For example, not as you can see, these change because they're dynamic. But some don't because, for example, sun angle is for sure. I know it's um, basically hard coded. In this way, it doesn't work automatically. So fog. You can see fog that changes, light, but I think it's better to use with um, shader packs like BSL because they have like a lot of options that allow you to change the lighting. So let's say you know shadows, I think it's color, yeah. So this way you don't have to reload the shader back every time if you'd like to change and see what colors do you like. You can just do it this way. Let's say, yeah, this is probably it's gonna reload the shader after you edited them, but overall, in the settings, it's not gonna do that. So let's say I think six hundred, six thousand. Now I can continue <laughs> editing the color. So for example, it's for lighting color. They, I probably just gonna I want to make it fully red. So yeah, now <laughs> you can see that you can edit these in real time. So yeah, <laughs> whoa, I guess I also have depth of field enabled. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The mod is pretty neat and you can save a lot of time editing shader packs options that are dynamic. But other than that, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.